So, so many people are focused on the, the uh, run for the presidency in 2016, which may not even happen depending on what Obama wants to do. If he wants to stick around for longer, he'll cause a false flag to happen. He'll declare martial law. He'll do whatever. But let's say we do have an election. Let's look at the candidates and take a look at what we have running for president. <clears throat> None of them are fit to lead this once great nation. Let's go ahead and start on the Democrat side. Let's look at Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Hillary Clinton is a pathological liar. She is a fraud. She's a phony. She's a fake. And she will turn this country into a ruinous heap. Bernie Sanders is a communist. He's not just a socialist. He's a communist. And he will do as bad, if not worse, than Obama. Let's go to the Republican side. And again, I'm an independent. I vote my conscience when I vote. I don't vote Republican or Democrat as a regular uh, part. I vote whoever my conscience tells me to vote for. Look at Donald Trump, a reality show hero, a man who's been bankrupt and who's been in and out of, of, of debt, a man who will say anything to anyone to get elected, a man who actually is a Democrat at heart running for the Republican uh, president. And most people believe him. It's so gullible. Ted Cruz, a man who's been called in so many lies. He's been called a, a, a chronic liar by Trump and by Rubio, and he is. And Christians are actually getting a worse name now because he claims to be a Christian, and we're getting mocked because of Cruz uh, claiming to be a born-again Christian who lies to his teeth all the time. And again, he'll say anything to get elected as well. Mark Rubio has no clue at all, no chance at all to become president. He's another one who will say anything to get elected. He's an Obama crony, and he is a fake. And you got poor Jeb Bush, <laughs> another Bush. We already had Bush Sr., we had W, the second worst president in history behind Obama, and now we've got Jeb. There is no one, no one, no one running for president who is qualified, who is honest, who is truthful, or who is straightforward. The whole political system is bankrupt. The only way that politics could ever be saved is to kick everyone out of the Congress, everyone out of the Senate, everyone out of the governorship, kick the president out, kick everyone out, all the mayors, totally reform the entire political system from the ground floor up. Find a way to redo it. Because as it is right now, it is a straight ticket straight down to doom. We are headed in the path of ancient Rome and we'll be there soon. We don't have much more time left as a nation. I believe we have just a matter of a few years before God judges us and destroys us like the Bible says he will, the great whore Babylon, who, by the way, is none other than Obama land, formerly America. Bottom line is this. What I'm trying to tell you is this. Christians, non-Christians, wherever you are, don't put your hope in politics. Your only hope is Jesus Christ. If you've never been saved or you're backslidden, I've got a prayer and six vital next steps in the box below the video. Pray the prayer. Do the six steps as soon as possible. No one's guaranteed more time in your life. If you'd like prayer, contact me. I'll pray for you every day. Christians, witness and pray for the lost night and day. It's our job. If you're not doing it, start doing it now. And if you are, great. And look up. Our dip from North Nye. We fly soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye.